Hey guys, so let's hop in primes. We're starting with a yellow base color. This is the Coastal Sense Hot Pot in Foolish Gold, and it's more of a mustardy color. But I really wanted to set a base that will transition from like a yellowy color to a lime green to a darker green and then finally to a beautiful sparkly green so that's the color that i took and i'm applying this with my brush from beauty junkies seriously guys these are one of the best brushes that i have ever come across high-end and drugstore if you guys are interested i will have a link down below i'm not sure if i still have a coupon with them but i will let you know Next, I'm going to pick up this lime green super pretty color by Luxie Beauty. This is actually one of her fall collections from this year and it is called Green Apple. As you can see, I am doing more of a stabbing motion onto the crease because I really want to emphasize the crease that I naturally don't have. So if you don't have a defined crease, this is a perfect technique to apply when you're applying eyeshadow. So I'm just taking that onto the crease. Blending it in, taking my time, doing windshield wiper motions and also circular motions so the yellow and the green can match together. I'm going to go on with this second color right here. This is also another Luxie Beauty Fall um, eyeshadow and it's in the color Moss. It's more of a deeper green and I just apply that to the crease to create a little bit more of a definition. Again, just going back and forth and making sure that I blend everything. Now going in with a shimmery shadow, this is also by Luxie Beauty. I am using a lot of Luxie Beauty um, little eyeshadows today, but this one doesn't have a name. I will look it up for you guys. It's a very pretty, like a pear type of color, but it does have shimmer to it. So I just apply that to the crease just to make everything pop. Again, we're going for a totally green eye color. I was just really in the mood of that. I'm gonna pick up this NYX Roll-On Shimmer, and this is in the color Olive. It's a very pretty shimmery shadow. It has a tiny bit of glitter, but it's very iridescent. It is so pretty, and they're so inexpensive. I don't know why I haven't tried these before, but now I wanna own every single one of them. I got mine at Ulta. I'm gonna take the Sally's Beauty Glitter. I honestly wasn't a fan of this glitter. I forgot how chunky it was, and it's not a cosmetic glitter. It's more for nails, so I would definitely suggest for you to use cosmetic glitter just so you don't risk any eye infection or anything. After that, I did do my regular wing liner. If you guys wanna see a in-depth tutorial, I will have that listed down below. So you guys can check it out. I explain to you how I use this NYC liquid eyeliner as well as a gel eyeliner. So check that out. Now for lashes, I'm going to go in with the Everblings Mink Lashes. I have two styles, Lash Whisper, and then this is the second option. These are called Wispy Gaze. These were a little bit too natural for me, so I actually went in with Lash Whisper. They're really pretty. They're definitely more on the natural side, but I wanted the focus to be on the eyes, and I wanted you to be able to see the actual glitter. So this is what I went in with, and they're so comfortable to wear. They're very light, and the band is not too thick. After that, I applied the lower lashes as far as like the eyeshadow and things like that. And then for my BH Cosmetics foiled eyes, I applied more of a yellow toned eyeshadow. And then I also went in with a new Luxie Beauty highlight. I don't remember the name, but again, I will have it listed down below. And it's a very pretty peachy pink highlight. So pretty. I am obsessed with that. For my lipstick, I went in with the Madly Matte Lip Gloss and it's a matte lipstick, but I topped it off with Jeffree Star Posh Spice because it was a little too brown for my taste. But after you've applied your lipstick, you are all done slaying this look. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!